Greetings viewers, this is Monitor Maverick coming to you with another video. Today we are going to be assembling the high-end master model Zoids Legacy of Empire by Kudabukia. Along with that, I also share my full opinion about this kit, the good, the bad, and the, and the everything else in between, and of course, if this is a kit worth getting. So without further ado, let's get straight to assembling this figure. And here we have the fully assembled Liger Zero Empire. And by uh, first reaction, and uh, this is a little bit of a bias for me because I did the custom paint, but this looks really, really good. Uh, just that metallic red really shines, and of course, it's kind of hard to, to really give a proper opinion on this just because, again, I did a custom paint. But uh, the uh, light uh, red, I would say, uh, for the uh, those armor pieces uh, prior to the uh, paint, um, I remember that it did go well with the gold. So this is just a more like a metallic look to it, I would say, since it is uh, a much better um, brighter gold, of, and of course the metallic red. So I think about uh, this just dulled down just slightly, and there you have the proper colors for this kit. But that aside, uh, I do really like the way how this works. The gold works well with the red that I mentioned during the parts video. And seeing this fully assembled just uh, makes me uh, really enjoy these uh, Liger Zero kits that I built uh, uh, thus far. Now each one has their own, uh, um, um, I would say their own uh, thing that makes them stand out. Uh, such as the Liger Zero Jaeger, Sch uh, Schneider, Panzer. And of course, uh, you all can see those uh, videos that I have on my channel. But of course, uh, this kind of reminds me of when I built the Lagos for the first time years ago. Uh, this, and not only that, but even the uh, the Tomy uh, Hasbro one, uh, the um, mobilized uh, customized line, the one that's uh, just operated, you know, battery powered. But uh, this definitely looks a lot better than those kits. Uh, you know, for those who are fans of those kits, sorry, but. Uh, these uh, Kurabukiya kits are much more poseable, much more detailed than those. But still though, I will admit that not only do I like the way how this looks, but I'm kind of proud of myself of the paint job. To see how this kit properly poses, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at its articulation. So let's start off with uh, the waist. So you can extend. Move side to side. The head can go back and forth, left and right, up and down. Now, the downside is that these um, side pieces cannot extend too far because the uh, front legs are in the way, so you may need to finagle a little bit. So, mouth can still open. Uh, this piece can still move just ever so slightly. The headpiece can move upward. The cockpit and the pilot. The gun on the under underside can go up and down, left and right. The uh, front legs can go all around. Just be careful of this uh, back leg in a way. Uh, all these legs have this piece that can move like so to have a much more uh, dynamic look whenever it poses. The elbow joint. The feet, can move like so, 
the ion boosters. Then one thing I will add though, and I've had this issue with my other LIGO Zero kit, is that this piece here, very flimsy and can be removed very easily. Uh, I don't know, like this peg here just would not uh, stay in that hole for long. So, may need to fix that. But anyway, the ion boosters. Oop, did not mean to take that out. If you pull them out, then the entire thing just opens up. The stabilizers on the side. The back leg can also move all the way. Of course, uh, the front leg would be in the way. A joint there. Another joint in the back. More of a uh, ratchet sound. The feet in the back uh, legs can move. And lastly, the tail. With uh, many different uh, parts of articulation. And try not to, uh, <laughs> not, not to move it too hard, but luckily you can snap right back together. That's about it for articulation. And now for some side-by-side -side comparisons. Here it is uh, right beside the Master Grade Unicorn Gundam. Here it is beside the uh, Master Grade Exia Dark Matter. And what fell was the um, the backpack here. Here's the Lego Zero beside the high master model uh, Storm Sorter. So really big difference here. And now I'm not just saying that with the wingspan. Just I feel like this kid might even be. Yeah, I feel like the Storm Sorter might be. Yeah, you know what? With the wings. And with all the pieces, I think this might be equal in terms of size and parts if you really just put everything together. But yeah, the wingspan on the Storm Storm makes this kit uh, definitely a lot bigger than the Lego Zero. And lastly, here it is beside the Genosaur. So definitely some differences here. A much better view side by side. Yeah, I think in terms of length wise, I think they're pretty much equal. Or maybe the Elijah Seal just is a tad longer. But that's about it for the side by side comparisons. And of course, this wouldn't be proper without having all the LIGO zeros side by side with each other. I must admit, having all these together, it does look pretty epic. As stated in the parts video, this kit came with a lot of extra parts. Just like I mentioned, because there were so many uh, uh, multiple pieces, and this kit we used some wonders from the original LIGO Zero kit. But let's see how this LIGO Zero Empire looks with these pieces. And here we have LIGO Zero Empire with uh, some of the gold uh, armor pieces. Unfortunately, uh, 
the, this kid did not came with extra ion boosters or extra armor pieces for the front legs. But uh, I must admit, I think I liked a full gold a lot more than the red. This actually looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm actually quite thankful I decided to uh, paint the extra pieces as well. And just for this effect, this looks nice. But yes, uh, this kit, like I said many times before, this kit, this kit does come with extra pieces. So you can have this kind of aesthetic. Uh, but uh, this, I, I'm kind of stunned, actually, of how good a full uh, a gold armor LIGO looks. So yeah, a really big plus right here. And if you have a proper um, display stand such as this, then you can actually attach it to, to the underside of the Ligazira to have some nice aerial poses. And uh, just for FYI, uh, these stands are actually uh, for Gunpla, mainly Master Grade uh, Gunpla. So these work just as great for some, not all, Zoids kits. Uh, so if in case you have a Ligazira or you want to pick one up, yeah, you can definitely use a stand for all these. But still though, uh, even though I've done this with several Liga Zeros before, having a uh, Golden Lion, or Golden Liga for that matter, in a post such as this, it really stands out. Uh, I, may, I may consider of maybe painting uh, those uh, front pieces gold um, instead of uh, keeping them red, because I just really like the gold here. This looks really really nice but yeah definitely uh definitely pick a display stand up if uh, you were able to as shown in the articulation part of this review uh, you can definitely uh, have this uh, kit be in several different positions obviously it's quite versatile in terms of uh, what kind of poses uh, you would like to use uh, or like to put this kit in for that matter especially whether it be like a lurking or a palacing pose such as this. So yeah, I would say the uh, possibilities uh, are up to the imagination on that one. But with that being said, uh, it's now time for me to share the good, the bad, and the everything else in between. And of course, is this a kid worth getting? For starters, the good. The good part is that the name itself, Ligazilo. Uh, that has been a huge staple in the uh, Zoids uh, uh, Zoid's universe, so to speak, a very popular Zoid, uh, with uh, the look, with the style, or even that of the pilot, Big Cloud. So the namesake uh, is a pure given on that one. Another plus side is the uh, articulation. As uh, stated earlier, um, this is very versatile, very articulate, so you can definitely have various poses and just shown just a few, seconds, a few minutes ago that uh, there is actually a hole on the bottom to use uh, for a uh, peg part in this uh, action base that I used earlier. So you can definitely use this kit for aerial poses. So even more possible uh, imaginations that can go there. So really big plus on that one. The color for me is actually uh, a good uh, uh, plus side as well. Just because, like, yes, this is the Empire version of Liga Zero, uh, and that, of course, has a different uh, color palette. In this case, you know, brown with red and gold. Uh, but uh, that it just goes to show that it balances everything well. Uh, I wouldn't say this would be a, a dark Liga Zero, so to speak, because the Empire um, is actually the, I guess... I don't, I don't want to say evil, but think about uh, you know Star Wars in terms of the Jedi and the Sith, so to speak. So just like the Republic and the uh, Empire fashions in the Zoids uh, lore. But still though, the colors work very, very well. Um, another big plus, which is kind of surprising actually, not to make his have this, but uh, it's actually the fact that this has extra pieces. Now, of course, with the exceptions of the ion boosters and the um, front armor pieces uh, for the legs, uh, you can actually have this kit in almost solid gold. So that's a really big plus. I was not expecting it, and heck, I was not even expecting for me to like this color so much, which is why I'm kind of continuing 
the review in this color because I just I just like it. It really makes it uh, stand out a little bit more, personally, in my opinion. So a really big plus there. Another plus is that um, this is actually the repackaged version. Now, for those who have built Zoe's kits before, the repackaged version is basically the second edition of a model kit. And the good thing about that is the uh, uh, repackaged version tends to be a little bit cheaper than the first version that came out. So I wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about this kit uh, being expensive at all. So I would say it's a solid good choice in my opinion. Now, as, now for anything bad, honestly I can't think of anything bad for this kit besides the fact that you may want to you may need to interchange the armor pieces depending on how which color you want to use to post this kit for. So that would probably be the only downside is that. Um, you know, speaking of the armor pieces, uh, just the armor pieces are the doubles. Now some of these pieces have um, some of these armor pieces have different pieces that goes with the kit. Uh, for example, there's actually supposed to be a piece inside of these uh, shoulder armor pieces, but that is actually used for the red ones. So unfortunately, I only have one set of those. So um, it's kind of it's kind of funny. I don't think it was intentional to have so many extra pieces for this kit because they just uh, repackaged the um, or reused basically the runners and kind of double it because of the two different colors that this kit has: the gold and the red. So it may not be intentional, but you know what, it works out. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Kubuki would just make it, uh, make another repackaged version of the Empire with the the exact no same number of extra pieces, so, so you can inter interchange the armor uh, much more. So maybe in the third package, different armor pieces for the boosters and the uh, front leg armor pieces. Uh, but uh, without that being said, is this a kid worth getting? No hesitation? Yes, absolutely. Whether you are a fan of Zoys or a fan of Liga Zero, uh, this is a really good kit. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this should be a beginner kit. I was uh, mainly uh, Zoys kits or that of Master Grade Gunpla. So if you know how to do Master Grades pretty well, or even Real Grades for that matter, I would say pick uh, this one up. Uh, I would say uh, the same kind of challenge, uh, but definitely you will get a proper figure such as this that they will look good on your shelf. But yeah, I would definitely give this kid a high recommendation in case you want to get into this uh, hobby. Thank you all for watching. This has been uh, uh, one uh, very enjoyable build. Uh, I really do like it. Then again, I'm just a fan of Lago Zero and of course... Uh, Previous videos have uh, shown this, so. Uh, but yes, I did. I do highly recommend you pick this up in case you haven't done so already. Uh, this was a very enjoyable build. Um, you don't need to paint if you don't want to. Of course, that's always optional. But uh, as you can see here, um, the red metallic uh, makes this kit stand out, and even with uh, those other pieces that I also painted gold, makes this kit stand out as well. So. Uh, Definitely do highly recommend you pick this up. Not only that, but uh, in case you already have some uh, Zoys kits, this is going to be a great addition to your collection. So with that, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more video updates. Uh, there are links down below for my socials, and there are two videos here for your enjoyment. One is the most recent upload, which is uh, where I go uh, in some in-depth detail about each part of the Lego Zero Empire and this other video that YouTube picked out. And with that, all that being said, thank you again, and until next time, keep on building. Why well, yes, I am a crazy cat guy. Why do you ask?